so there's nothing certain to say the medical the medical literature reflects this uncertainty about withdrawal that it's probably best to do it gradually but it's not always best it's likely you're going to have a bad withdrawal if you do it suddenly but it's not always likely so that's what the medical literature reflects and it details it infinitely it's not true that there's little information about withdrawal I even used to believe there was little information because I looked but I looked kind of selectively I didn't see too much but there's a lot of information there are consensus statements there are tons of articles that detail there are hundreds and thousands of case studies that detail what happens to patients who unwittingly or or guided by a clinician come off their drugs sometimes it's terrible sometimes it's horrible sometimes people die depending on the drug sometimes they're paralyzed sometimes the clinicians wonder what happened until they, they realize my god they were on this drug and before their surgery they stopped the drug that's what explains all we're seeing all these symptoms physical symptoms emotional symptoms uh, neurological symptoms uh, uh, dermatological symptoms everything and they wonder what is going on and is due to withdrawal when you put it all together and you take time and you reflect and you take the history and you see oh my goodness and we had no idea no one told us and no one taught us and that's why we're publishing a letter in a journal to say look at another instance of withdrawal so we have thousands of these case studies and we have hundreds of studies where patients are yanked off their drugs drug company pharmaceutical company sponsored studies clinical trials published in the best journals where patients come into a trial and they're yanked off their drug at the beginning and then they're put back on another drug and then they're yanked off that drug again and then we look at which group is doing better the ones that are yanked off their drug or the ones who just stayed on their drugs and you know what the ones that stayed on their drugs seem to be doing better we have hundreds of those studies those are withdrawal studies they're all there for all to see but again those drugs are done so badly who would want to be yanking someone off a drug we know it's not so good why are you doing that well because we're allowed to and it helps us to show that staying on your drug would be better for you because the ones who are yanked off are not doing so well their depression comes back couldn't that be withdrawal symptoms oh well withdrawal symptoms only come very early on and this comes a little later on so I guess it's not withdrawal don't we all agree yes we all agree that's it so the studies are not done well but they're there 